This is the Sony WH-1000XM4, and for my own sanity, I'm just going to refer to them as the XM4s moving forward. So, the XM4s were released about two months ago, no, actually three months ago, uh, in August, in late August, and I have, I wanted to buy one, but I didn't because I was honestly just fine with my XM3s, but I did end up buying them, and I'll explain why a little bit later in the video, but for now, let me just show you guys what the box is and get it out of the box. So. Uh, on the front, you've just got the Sony uh, headphone design up here. Uh, got the model name, which is insanely stupid. Uh, you've got, you know, just a bunch of uh, 360 audio, Google Assistant, Alexa, all this branding. This is the midnight blue finish, so um, I changed things up a little bit. I went from the black to the midnight blue. On the back, we've got uh, the uh, three photos of the headphones. This is just a full view. There's one with the touchpad controller explaining how things work. And you've got just one with it in the case. And then just a bunch of, you know, highlights of the features and everything else. It's, uh, it's a pretty simple box. And the way it opens is um, you just uh, slide it out. And boom, the box is right there. Um, and then there's this easy setup guide where it tells you you should download the app to um, use it. Now you don't need the app, but there are some features that will be accessible through the app. So it's probably the best that you get it. So right here is the uh, case. This has the headphones in it, I believe. And then you've got uh, some paperwork at the bottom and you know, Sony audio reality free service trial. Okay. Uh, just limited warranty and the uh, headset user reference guide. So pretty basic in the box, nothing else really in here. So I'm just gonna put this to the side and we're gonna look at the case itself. So this case is finished in blue. So um, these are color matched. So whichever color you get, they will be coordinated with it. And this uh, zipper is also matched to the accent color of the headphones themselves. I will show you in a second. So let me just open this up. And there we go. Uh, this is a nice hard case, by the way, so it will keep your uh, headphones nice and safe. You guys can see they come in here folded. This blue is fantastic. I just really like the way it's looking. Looks cool. Let me put this to the side for a second. Let's see what else we get. There is this nice diagram right here. Uh, it does show you how to put your headphones back into the case, and it also show you the, shows you the touchpad controls right here, which is quite convenient. Then you've got three cables in here, not three cables, two cables and an accessory. So you've got a USB A to USB C lightning to, I'm sorry, USB C to charge this up. Then you've got a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter jack to give this a wired connection uh, if you so choose. And then they've got this, which is a, a very good addition. Uh, this is a uh, double jack for when you're on a plane. So planes usually have this weird double jack system. Sony gives you one right in the box so you don't have to worry about it. You just connect it. Uh, with this cable right here, you plug it in and you're ready to go. So it is a pretty nice box and look at how neat it is. You know, there are slots for each and everything in here. So nothing really goes out of place. So this is a very, very nice design of a case. Like this is honestly other, other companies like Bose should, should look into this case. And I completely forgot to mention on the back of this case is actually a nice little pouch. So if you want to slip something in here to save keep that you could do as well so let's put this all inside and off to the side and let me show you guys the actual headset so the color on these is fantastic it's it's almost black but if the light hits it right it's blue otherwise it's kind of like this blackish gray finish and you really need light to be able to tell it, it looks awesome like it is the true definition i want to i want to say of midnight blue like it really is confusing between what color it is and I, I like it that way. I do like my blues this way. Uh, the ear cuffs are matched blue as well and they look fantastic. The buttons on here, so we do have a um, power button right here. Uh, on the right cup you have the uh, power button and the custom button. Now this used to be a dedicated noise control, uh, noise. I'm sorry, uh, noise cancellation level button but it has changed up now. There's the power button and then right here is the um, headphone jack for if you want to use a wired connection. And then right over here, you've got the USB-C port for charging. And then right here, you just got labels for the right and left uh, cups, which is great. And then on the inside, I'm sure you guys can see right there is a sensor. Now this sensor is actually an addition, a new feature, and this will allow the headphones to know when you have taken them off 
and in turn that it'll automatically pause or play your music so that you don't have to worry about it when you take off your headphones they will automatically be paused or when you put them back on after you take them off they will automatically play so that is awesome so let me grab my phone and we will pair these up pairing process is very simple all you've got to do is uh, hold down the power button until uh, it will turn on first and then you just keep holding it don't let it go and it'll go into pairing mode it will announce it and you'll be able to hear it in the speaker there you go it takes a little bit it takes about five to seven seconds and once that's done let me grab my phone open it up and this is the bluetooth menu it should show up there we go wh1000xm4 fantastic and that's it that's what all the bluetooth pairing process is very very simple uh, so what i'm going to do now is uh, take a little bit of time i'm going to uh, try these out give them a little bit of a test. I'm gonna, there is an app for this as well. I will, I will set that up and show you guys the features that you can access through that as well. And then we will kind of wrap things up from there. All right, so I have been testing these out for a little bit and I am very, very impressed with them. Sound quality is fantastic. Right on the level of the XM3s, honestly, I've been finding it very hard to find the difference, but that's not a bad thing because the XM3s were just that good. And I forgot that I, I was, I told you guys, I would show you how the accent colors match. So right here's the zipper on the case. And you guys can see right here, the Sony and this little accent, they are matching. So that's kind of what I was mentioning before. And as I was speaking, this is the quality of music. Absolutely awesome. Noise cancellation really just way beyond what I uh, what I've ever experienced is fantastic. Uh, they, they definitely sound right on par with the XM3. They might even be better. Right now, I just can't give it a thorough test because I'm at home. There's not a lot of ambient noise, not much I can do, but maybe in the future, I'll get them to be a little bit more thoroughly tested. Now, uh, what I do want to talk about is the uh, comfort of these. They're fantastic. The pads are really soft and they honestly feel great. Uh, the headband is nice. They're not too heavy, but they're not too light either. They, they feel just right. And I think, um, you know, I've, I wore them for a while when I was testing them. I do, you know, this is just a me problem where I do find that after a while over the years, just don't feel comfortable. But these are the closest, like these are the most comfortable out of all of them. So that's just awesome. I really do love them. So now that I've, uh, you know, kind of used this, there's uh, a lot of good things about the quality and everything. So I want to show you guys a couple of the features that this gives you. Um, because audio quality, I think everybody expected this to be great. There's not really... Uh, anybody who understands or knows about the Sony XM line who will doubt their performance. So uh, this is the app. I will have a uh, nice little inlay right here for you guys to see if you can't see on the screen clearly. So uh, right here we have the status. So what it'll do is there's adaptive sound control where it will recognize what you're doing. So if you're sitting, if you're moving, it knows that and it will adapt accordingly and it'll change your noise cancellation levels. Then it has a uh, device currently being connected, so you can now connect multiple devices. This is one of the biggest issues I had. Uh, I, would, I like to switch between my iPad and my iPhone all the time, and uh, the only way to really do that is what, to be turn off the Bluetooth on one of the devices so you can pair it to another, uh, because if this was connected to a device, you could not connect it to another device. It was just a whole mess, but the XM4 solved this. I'm, I was referring to the XM3, if that wasn't clear before. The XM3s wouldn't let you do that, but the XM4 does, and it lets you connect to two devices simultaneously, and it is fantastic. Then it, of course, shows you the music that it's playing right now, and that is the status bar and as i said up here it'll show you the model number and it'll show you how much charge you have left so i've got 60 percent right there so moving on to sound this is the first thing you get is ambient sound control so this is like their transparency mode this is what apple calls it transparency mode uh, sony calls it ambient sound control this is when it allows you to listen to things with noise cancellation turned off very quickly so there's two shortcuts you can place your uh, palm over the right uh, right headband, this right uh, speaker cup right here, and it'll go do that. Or there's a new feature called speak to chat where it'll automatically, when you talk, it'll recognize that you're talking and turn off the uh, noise cancellation and pause the music until you're talking. And then 15 seconds or 30 seconds after that, it'll automatically resume playing. You don't have to do anything. That's a fantastic feature. And I think very, very useful. And you can just toggle how much you want the ambient sound 
uh, the volume to be. Then you've got noise canceling optimizers. There are optimizers uh, that will, you know, f tweak things to make sure that the sound quality is perfect. Then there is an equalizer as well. I have this turned off, but there are a bunch of modes. Uh, you know, they're weird. They're called bright, excited, mellow, relaxed, vocal, treble boost. Now this is a, this I've heard, vocal, treble boost, bass boost, speech. Uh, so there's just a lot of these uh, uh, EQs, but I like to turn it off. I, I keep them off. They sound fantastic just with them off. And then there's this 360 reality audio setup. So if you guys remember on the box, uh, there was this 360 audio, but the thing with this is that it is only usable with uh, a very limited number of apps. Uh, there's these four apps, 360 by Deezer, Artist Connection, Nugs.net, and Tidal. If you don't have one of those four, you really can't use that feature. Uh, so whatever. Then sound quality mode. There is a sound quality mode where you can prioritize the quality of the sound or prioritize a stable connection. Um, I've never had to use this mode, but uh, it's it's nice that they have it included in case you're having trouble with your connection. And then there's something called DSEE Extreme, which is turned off by default. I have no idea what it is. I'm not going to mess with it, and I'm not going to pretend like I know what it is. Moving on, we're going to talk with the system settings. So here it allows you to connect to two devices simultaneously. You can turn this off if you don't want this feature, uh, but I've turned it on. I like it, and I'm keeping it then there is the change the function of the custom button. So I showed you guys there's a custom button here now instead of the ambient sound control button that used to be there. And you can actually change it up to switch to Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. Moving further down, there's the touch sensor panel. So if you do want uh, to be able to control your music through the touch sensors, uh, you can have that enabled or you can turn them off if you're, you, you think you're going to accidentally hit them or something. Uh, the touch panel works very well. If you swipe up, volume up. If you swipe down, volume down. If you swipe to the front, next track. Swipe to the back, reverse track. And then if you tap two times, it will continue playing. So touch pads are, uh, is fantastic and very simple to use. And then there's the automatic power off. So you can turn headphones off when they're immediately when they're taken off, or you can have a do not turn it off. Uh, this actually, I'm wrong, it doesn't turn off for a certain amount of time, but it will turn off automatically after a certain time. So that's good. If you forget to actually hold down the power button, it'll automatically turn off since it can now detect if it's, if you're, if it's being worn or not. And then just, uh, you know, the pause when the headphones are taken off, that's a, a fantastic feature as well. And then there's the uh, noise and voice guide notifications and then the automatic download of software. So that is the app. So the app definitely opens up a lot of features. So, you know, if you were thinking about it, do you need the app or not? You need, I'd say get it once, in, you know, set everything up with the headphones, uh, get all the modes and uh, settings tweaked, and then you really don't need to use it beyond that. But uh, I think that for once, you should definitely do that. So that was a quick overlook of the Sony XM4s. Now let me explain why I bought these. I ended up buying these because of the AirPods Max. So I bought the AirPods Max. Those are ridiculously priced, and I really wanted to see how they stacked up against the XM4s, because I felt that would be a more accurate comparison of the two. So the, the real reason I bought these were to compare to the XM4, I'm sorry, the AirPods Max, but now I'm worried. I'm liking these so much, I think I may end up having to sell my XM3s and keep these because they're just, I love the color and I love the main thing is that that uh, multiple audio connection feature really, really uh, will improve my experience of these overall. So I'm, I think that that, that might end up happening. And I just, I, the sound quality, everything on Sony headphones is fantastic. Now this isn't really an in-depth review, of course, you know, it's, it's, it's a very quick unboxing and initial impression just to show you guys the features and everything. Uh, I will be doing a more clear comparison with the AirPods Max coming up in the future. So if you do want to check that out, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen and of course linked in the description as well. And if you want to check these out or the XM3s, I'll have those linked down as well to, uh, uh, to Amazon so you guys can check those out as well. It should be, um, they're on sale right now. So if you are in the market for one, I really can't stress how much I recommend these. They're fantastic headphones and you can't go wrong with them. So uh, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.